Hello, Adam here from Daffin Sounds, and today we're looking at the Clarity VX from Waves. This is a vocal noise reduction plugin. Uh, it's really good. I've had a quick look at it. There's plenty of demonstration videos out there showing how useful it can be on voiceovers or dealing with computer fan noise or air conditioning units, anything that's kind of getting in the way of your voice recording. It has quite unique AI technology, which allows it to differentiate between the vocal sound and any other noise that's getting in the way. Uh, but I thought we'd have a look at it today on something a little bit challenging, hopefully, for it and see how it deals with it. So this is a guide vocal track from a song that I'm working on at the moment for the Ridley Project. Uh, this is actually my lovely father singing this, and it was recorded about 20 years ago in studio conditions, but you can hear a lot of the rest of the band coming across over the vocal microphone. And it was, it was only intended to be a guide vocal, but time ran out and it was a good take, a good performance. And I've spent the time mixing it and trying to work with the spill rather than fighting it and trying to cut it out. So, uh, I thought this would be a good test for the Clarity VX plugin. So let's see what it can do. So with the plugin bypassed, it's sounding a little bit like this. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. I will be there for you. So, as you can hear, quite a lot of spill, a lot of drums. You can hear the guitars. There's a bit of bass in there. Um, quite a lot to deal with. So, let's turn on the plugin. And so, the plugin basically consists of this big dial in the center. Uh, you turn it up to reduce the ambience. And it also consists of two modes to work in broad one and broad two. And it explains what they're, what they're both doing. There's a little display here on the right. Uh, it kind of shows what's going on. I think you're better off using your ears because the further you turn this up, the more you start to hear how it affects the voice and uh, you can't go too far without artifacts becoming present. So if I start off at zero and press play and I'll just uh, begin to turn the dial and show you what it can do. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. I will be there for you. So, so you can see as I get a little bit further up, uh, it starts to go. But around about here seemed to be quite good. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. I will be there for you. So the reason I'm showing the plugin to you in this context with just the vocal track rather than having it in the mix is it's quite CPU intensive. Uh, I think it's one of the only the one of the only drawbacks of this plugin is I tried opening it in the mix and when you've got an array of other plugins going on and other processing going on it just struggled to handle it. So, so yeah, I've, my plan was just to process it on here, get it sounding clean, and then import it into the track. So I'll export this now, and I'll show you how it sounds in the mix. Okay, so here we are in the multi-track session project, uh, working on the mix. Uh, it's not finished yet, but hopefully you'll get some idea of what's going on. So if we zoom in, you'll see the yellow track here is the processed track using Clarity VX, and the blue track here is the original vocal track I was working with. Uh, so if we have a little listen. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. So that's working. That's all right. That's good. Um, you'll hear now the difference. Uh, how I was, how I've kind of had to compensate for things like 
the snare. Uh, so we lose a bit of high end on the snare and a bit of kind of a bit of the snare punch, especially. So now let's have a listen to the Clarity VX vocal. And I say I, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. So as you can probably hear, the mix changes a little bit because I've had to compensate for things like the snare cutting through on the original vocal and stuff like that. But it's oh, it's very clean. It's very good. So in in solo mode, the original vocal here. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. And then... Clarity VX version. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. So you, you can hear now there's reverb and delay and compression and stuff on it. it. It's much easier to work with. And that's a bit of a lifesaver, really. I mean, not that it's impossible to work with the one with lots of overspill. But like I said, you have to compensate for things like the snare and the other bleed that's going on. So, yeah, I think it it, it works nicely. Uh, in the mix, one more time. And I say, uh, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. So obviously I'd have to make some adjustments to the drum kit sound, especially the snare, I think, uh, just to get that a little bit higher up in the mix because so much of it was being used from the from the vocal track. But yeah, I think that deals with it pretty well. I've seen a few kind of mixed reviews about this plugin. Some people saying it works miracles. Other people saying it doesn't work at all, hardly. Um, I think there's probably some middle ground where where it sits it's it's good it's really good it's not perfect but um yeah it could be a really useful tool um, i'm quite impressed so that's the new clarity vx plugin from waves let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we shall see you very soon take care bye bye